So today I want to talk about Aternos. We can't go around it. Aternos is extremely popular. A lot of people are using this free hosting provider on a daily basis. And under pretty much every single plugin video I make, I always get the question, Kassasura, is this plugin also available on Aternos? Is there a free alternative for Aternos? Which plugin should I use? Now my answer is always the same. I have no clue. I've never used Aternos before. So today I decided to make an account, check out what plugins are available on there, and just give you a little bit more clarification. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy. So I made an account. This is what it looks like. And to install plugins, we need to go to the plugins tab on the left of our screen. Now it might not show plugins here for you. And if it's not, that means that you're not running a software that supports plugins. Over here, you can see what software you're running. Currently, I'm using PaperMC, but if it still says vanilla, for you over here, you want to click on change and then select a version that supports plugins. I would highly recommend PaperMC, but if you prefer Purper for some reason, then just go for that one. Now, after that, you want to click on plugins and you will be greeted with a lot of plugins over here. Now, this plugins page does not really give a lot of information. We don't see any pictures. We don't see any previews. We just see a name, a one line description, and sometimes we see which website it is from, but not even always. So how does this work? How do you navigate this? Well, let's say I want to install Essentials, the most popular free core plugin out there. Then I will look for essentials and this is what I get greeted with. So we got essentials X, then here we got normal essentials. And here we got another plugin that is also called essentials. We also have essentials pro here. Which one should I get? And how can I double check which one is actually the right one? Well, to do that, you want to click on the plugin that you think is going to be the right one. Now, in this case, I'm pretty sure that this is the right essentials X plugin that I want to install. I'm not 100% sure though. So I'm going to click on it and that will bring me to this page. Now over here, you will see all the different versions and an install button. But we also got a website link. Now this one goes to EssentialsX.net. And when we click on there, we will go to the old trusty Essentials X website. So yes, this is precisely the one we want to install. Now this method is extremely handy when you want to double check if a plugin you're about to install is actually the plugin you want to install. So I recently made a video about all the Minecraft plugins I used on my Minecraft SMP server, Soracraft. And on that server, I'm using a very particular quests plugin. The thing is, there are more plugins out there that are just called quests. So for example, when we search for quests, this is the one that will pop up. And you might be like, oh yeah, this is probably the one that Casas are recommended. It is from Spig and MC. It says an extensive questing system and it is just called quests. Probably gonna be the one, right? Well, no, because when we go to the second page, you can see there's a plugin called Quests 1.8 1.20 set. That is a horrible name. But when we click on there, and then go to the research page, you can see that this is the plugin that I recommended. This is the one that we used on Soracraft. And why is the name so horrible? Well, because the name is horrible over here as well. It's called quests and then 1.8 to 1.20. And then it grabbed the word set and ignored the rest. And that's why it looks so awful on Aternos. But this Aternos plugins search system is not very great in any way. So I searched for a plugin named quests. And the first thing that pops up is simple TP. Now, that doesn't make any sense, of course. Why would that one pop up? <sighs> well, it's because of the word requests. <laughs> also, probably because from all of these, this is the most downloaded plugin. And that is why it will show up at the top. Even though the plugin is not even a quests plugin, it is not even called quests. But because the word quests is used in their description, well, not even, it is the word request, but they just ignore the re part. That is why it shows up on top. That is the Aternal search system, and it's horrible. And you're probably not gonna find the plugin you want and need on the first page. Another absolutely great example is Tab. Tab is a plugin I'm using for my tab list. I've made two videos about it and I recommend it a lot. It's a great plugin. But when you're on Aternos and you search for the word tab, it might seem like it is not on Aternos at all. So name tag edit pops up on top and then we got two other plugins which are also called tab list. So you know, it's not crazy to assume that tab is just not here. When you go to the second page, you will also not see it here. Well, if you scroll down all the way to page five over here, you can see tab, an all-in-one solution that works, available on Modrinth. 
who might be like, nah, this is probably not going to be the tab plugin that Casasora recommended. If we click on it and then go to the mod roof page, you can see that it very much is. This is the one hidden away on page five on Atronos. So I think that the reason that many people think that a lot of plugins are not available on Atronos is just because the search system is horrible. And that is why it looks like they're not available, even though they actually are. I recently made a video about all the plugins I used on this Minecraft server. Now, if you've seen that video, you might recall that we were using 34 plugins here. I've checked every single one of them and 24 of the plugins we use here are just available on Atronos. Some are very much hidden away and hard to find, but they're actually there. Only the paid plugins we use here and APIs for paid plugins, those are not available. But for the rest, everything can be found. Essentials X is there. Lookworms is there. World Edit also there. Quests plugin also there. Simple Score also there. Most plugins I cover in that video are available on Atronos. You just need to know how to look for them. And that is gonna be it for today. I really hope I helped you out. If I did, make sure to subscribe. You would help me out so much. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.